Hi, my name is Della, and I've been making boom cards for years. I love the way boom cards bring a learning environment to my children like no other. And now that we're in this remote learning, it's never been more powerful. One of the best features about boom is the sound feature. If you have students in your class who have special needs, for whom English is not their first language, or really any child for whom vocabulary development is a struggle, using the sound feature can be a game changer. I'm going to show you how you can bring sound to your decks. It's really very simple, and I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do this. So once you're in Boom and you go and let's say you have a deck that you're working on and you wanted to read the text to them, the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to GarageBand. I always come up here, say voice, choose, and then up here I would record. So I don't know what it said. I'm just going to make it up. Johnny had four apples and he got two more apples. How many apples does Johnny have now? Okay, then you go to share, say export song to disc. I always save as Johnny's apples. And then I don't put it in the documents. I always put it on my desktop and then I make a, um, a folder for all those. You wanna save it as an MP3 and export. So now I'm gonna quit GarageBand. I say don't save it. And now let's say this was about Johnny's apples. What you wanna do is you click sound, you drag the icon, uh, the icon over, I'm just going to delete that. You upload that sound. So on my desktop, I'm going to look for it. Here is Johnny's apples. Click on it. Choose. And then you click here. And now it's on your, de your, um, your deck. So you can make that however you want it. Let's go to preview. Now, obviously, this isn't about Johnny's apples, but... Johnny had four apples and he got two more apples. How many apples does Johnny have now? So you can see, you can make whatever you want with that sound file. It's really great for those ELLs, for your SPED kids, especially if you do a lot of math, because um, with those word problems, sometimes we're testing the kids for their reading ability instead of their math ability. So if you're using math, it might be a great one for you. But I hope that this helped you figure out how you can put sound into your decks. It's a great feature on Boom, and I hope that you'll try it. Good luck, everybody. Stay help healthy. See, it's really not that hard. So if you have questions or you run into some trouble along the way, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We're all here to help each other. Remember, hashtag stronger together. Bye.